palms together at the heart. Bow. That was a nice uh, sprint of a Han hitting, Ashish. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody in person. Good morning online, Maureen. Um, welcome. It's, it's kind of hard to start silently like we used to having an online component just right into it. So I'm just going to say hi from now on in the beginning to not leave our friends uh, just lay, hanging there. Um, but welcome to another Zenshin. Uh, today, we have another little tiny summer group. It's always nice to see who shows up in the summer. So thank you all for coming. We'll get started. We'll bow one more time together. Palms together at the heart. Bow. Place your hands on your knees and gently move your upper body from right to left, then forwards and back, finding your center point. Sit up through your center, spine softly straight. Sit down through your center, rooting into your chair, cushion, floor, rooting into the earth. Place your hands in your lap, fingers overlapping and thumbs lightly touching, forming an oval. Find a spot on the floor several feet in front of you and with your eyes half open and half closed, gently focus and gaze out through that spot. Breathe in and out through the nose with the mouth closed. Breathing in, count one, filling your belly and back with breath. Breathing out, count two. Breathing out the nose again. Continue counting your breaths like this until you reach 10 and then start again. If you lose your place, start again. Whatever thoughts, feelings, or sensations arise, simply find your breath and start again.
Let them go. Whatever thoughts arise, whatever sensations persist, sit like a boulder in a rushing stream. The water comes, the water goes. Let your thoughts come and let your thoughts go. Palms together at the heart. Bow. Take a moment to stretch, rearrange your cushion, bow to it, and we will transition to walking meditation.
Uh, for those of you at home, if you'd like to walk around your space or do another seated sit, both are fine options. For those of you in here, uh, for walking meditation, you can place your hands right above the solar plexus, if that's comfortable to you, or anywhere kind of in the midsection. And we will be walking one time around the temple together. Uh, I'll start here, then the middle row will follow, a sheesh after. And uh, it's our custom to bow to the statue, the Buddha, every time we cross the middle. Uh, you can think of this as bowing, not just to, you know, this gold thing up there, but bowing to all the teachers we have, bowing to each other for this space, really bowing to the practice that we're building together.
to be seated for a second sit. Palms together at the heart. Bow. Place your hands on your knees and gently move the upper body from right to left and forwards and back, finding your center point. Sit up through your center, spine softly straight. Sit down through your center, rooting into your chair, cushion, floor, rooting into the earth. Place your hands in your lap, fingers overlapping and thumbs lightly touching, forming an oval. Find your spot on the floor several feet in front of you and softly gaze out through it. Breathe in and out through the nose with the mouth closed. Breathing in, count one, filling your belly and back with breath. Breathing out, count two. Breathing out the nose again. Continue counting your breaths like this until they reach 10 and then start again. If you lose your place, start again. Whatever thoughts, feelings, or sensations arise, simply find your breath and start again. Let them go. Whatever thoughts arise, whatever sensations persist, sit like a boulder in a rushing stream. The water comes, the water goes. 
Let your thoughts come. And let your thoughts go. If you would like to have your shoulders tapped to relieve tension and help your posture, I'll go around with the keisaku. Please place your hands in gasho if you'd like them to tap your shoulders.
palms together at the heart. Bow. Take a moment to stretch if you need to at home or in person, and then we will move on to chanting. I'll share my screen for those online. Today we will be adding in one new chant. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's already in our sutra book. We just haven't chanted it, I don't think, in probably a lot of years. But uh, I'll say when it's coming up and we'll go through it together. And we'll talk about it a little afterwards. All right, page one, Atadipa. to Tisarana. Buddham Saranam Gachan. Damam Saranam Gachan. Sangam Saranam Gachan. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. Page three, six paramitas. Dana paramita. May I be generous and helpful. Sila paramita. May I be pure and virtuous. Shanti paramita. May I be patient. May I be able to bear and forbear the wrongs of others. Virya paramita. May I be strenuous, energetic, and persevering. Dhyana Paramita. May I practice meditation and attain concentration and oneness to serve all beings. Prajna Paramita. May I gain wisdom and be able to give the benefit of my wisdom to others. Page four, the Heart Sutra.
Maha Prajna Paramita Hridaya Sutra Seven and Mejuku Kanongyo. This is a new chant to at least my sitting here with y'all. I don't know if it was chanted before me, uh, but it is in our book already, and it's a chant I do quite regularly by myself. Um, Kanon is the name for Avalokiteshvara, for Guan Yin. There's a bunch of different names, but a deity, a bodhisattva of unfolding wisdom and compassion. And so this chant is to them, but it's meant to kind of fortify uh, the chant. It has like a Dharani in it or a kind of mantric spell. And so every time 
uh, we go through, it's the same as most of them. I'll say that first line and then we'll all join in on Khan. And when we say Khan, let that get a little more energetic each time for that sound. So you can kind of just hear it this time and we'll go along the summer. And you know, if there's great objection, we can take it on out. But I think it's a nice feeling chair. Palms together at the heart. Bow. You're now invited to offer incense at the front and then please join me in these front pews for a short Dharma sharing. Thanks so much for sitting with me today, everybody. Uh, thank you to the folks online as well. Um, today, 
I was thinking of a few different things for sharing. Um, I had like a good thinking week. I don't know. I just had a good time thinking this week and I was really excited. Um, and I thought about so many talks and then this morning I thought of something else and I threw everything away because it felt better. <laughs> Whatever I think of right before talking to you all seems to be what I want to share rather than what I plan if I plan. But um, I was listening on the way here to Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. And there's a line in there, leave tonight or live and die this way. And I was thinking about that sentiment of like, the song is about, you know, her and somebody else, a lover, like escaping or where they're at, there are bad situations, uh, you know, they're driving a fast car all around, it goes through a whole life. But the kind of feeling of it is like, wow, if I don't change now, like I'll, maybe I never will. Maybe I need to do it right now. That's kind of the refrain that goes on. And I was thinking of this chant that we're adding in and that song and how I think when I hear that, I identify with a lot of different points of my teenagehood or my kind of, I'm kind of sneakily long-term chaotic. Like my life has been kind of crazy. And I, I think a lot of times I felt that like, oh, if I don't like change it today, like I'll do this forever. And I make huge shifts sometimes, like I move to Chicago, you know, uh, or I go to the monastery or something. And I felt that and I was wondering, what is that feeling? Like, how do I investigate that more and take the urgency out of it a little bit so that I know change can be slow, even it can be gradual and still be happening. And I was thinking of this chant and Avalokiteshvara or Kanon in Japanese is a bodhisattva. Uh, there's often... In Jodo Shinshu, usually there's Shinran and Honen on the sides, but in a lot of Zen traditions, there's usually like a Kanon or of the Loki Teshvara on the side of the Buddha. And they are someone who represents unfolding, infinite unfolding of compassion and wisdom. And so they have a title, a lot of titles, but one of their titles is Se Muisha, which is giver of fearlessness. And I was wondering, well, what does that mean to be a, a giver of fearlessness? What does that mean to affect the people around you in a way that allows them to feel no fear, that allows them to just trust what's happening or to move into whatever emotion they're having with a sense of safety? And so thinking of the chant, thinking of Avalokiteshvara, thinking of Tracy Chapman and leaving tonight or dying this way, I was wondering, like, what could I ask myself as a good question to not have such a dispersed thought pattern like how can i make this one thing to think about and i really just came back came back and back to the question while you know putting out the cushions today like what would i do is there anything in my life right now that i feel that way about that like it, i'm afraid that it might not change if i don't do something about it now and what could i do about it what could i change about it and if there is things that I don't trust or things that make me fearful, how can I build up my own sense of safety so that I feel safer moving through those uncertain situations? And so like I'm about to go tomorrow for the next 10 days on a 10 day silent retreat back at the monastery. And I was thinking, I've only ever done seven days silent. And I don't know why, three days more has been really freaking me out. I was just like, oh, what if that three days is what I can't take? It's what finally breaks my brain. And instead of moving into that uncertainty with fear and anxiety, which will still be there, but hopefully a little less, I was thinking, what can I do? Instead of thinking of what's unknown, thinking of the things I do trust in myself. I trust this practice. I trust that I've been here. I trust that good friends have taught me how to do this. And I trust that I've been doing this for, you know, more than I've not been doing this at this point in my life. I've been doing this for 20 years and I'm 28. So there's a lot to trust there. And I think there's a lot in ourselves that we forget that we can really trust that, or at least I forget that I can trust sometimes when I get insecure. Um, I feel like that's something that probably gets easier with age, but probably never goes away. You know, I can't say, but I, I would guess it doesn't, it doesn't ever go away, no matter if you're 20, 30, 40, you know, X amount of decades. And so uh, my invitation this week is to think about the things you do trust in yourself. And when you're in those moments of doubt, whether you can ease that specific doubt or not, remind yourself of how it feels to trust, how it feels to feel safe in other things. And then when you return to that doubt or as you navigate that doubt, 
I think that process makes me a little uh, more grounded, makes me a little, yeah, just at more at ease knowing, oh, I do trust me, you know? I've, I've done this for a while. And even if there are things I don't trust myself in, I trust my friends. And so they'll help me out with those things, right? We can just build trust that way. And so learning becomes less mastery based and more just experimental and play and trust. So that's my sharing for today. Thank you all so much for listening. Um, we'll do, oh yeah. Next week we're not meeting, no. Yeah, next weekend, yeah, the um, announcements for this week would be next weekend uh, we're not meeting, we'll be closed because I'll be out there um, with my phone off so we won't have an online one. And then the rest of the month will be normal in person. And Obon is on the 9th, I believe. Saturday. Yes, Saturday the 9th. So if you want to come dance with everybody in the parking lot, um, that'll be a great time as always. I won't be here this week, but everybody else will. So it'll be nice. Yeah, that's all the check-ins I have. Um, we'll do a little checkout circle. We only have two people online today, so it'll be quick. If you, either of you wants to check in, no pressure. I have to do my little switch thing. Okay. Good morning, Maureen. How are you today? Here, we'll switch so everybody can see. Oh, one second, Maureen. Sorry. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Everybody's over Hi. here. I'm wonderful. Uh, it's a beautiful morning here. I'm in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, so I'm happy to join everybody today. Mm. I love the meditation, and um, I'm I'm thinking about your comments, <laughs> and I'll give I'll be giving those some thoughts the rest of the day today. Wonderful. And I, this uh, Tracy Chapman song is just going through my head now. <laughs> it's a great song. I, yeah, I really like it's that great song. Album. Yeah, it's a whole great album. Tracy Chapman's fantastic. Thank you so much for coming, Maureen. Thank you. Good morning, Anna. Would you like to check in today? Feel free to say hi, camera on or off. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. It, just, it was just a quiet morning. You know, it's a quiet morning and a quiet meditation. Yeah. So it was nice. Wonderful. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's see. In person, we'll start the side today. Gillian, good morning. How are yeah, you? Good morning. I'm so glad to see you. Oh, and um, the one thing I want to let you all know about, if you have not been to the Right World 659, mm. please go to see Moga, modern girls. Oh. They're beautiful Japanese watercolors from the 1930s. Beautiful. Some are touching, some are floating, some mm. are surreal, some are curious. Yeah. But see it. I know there's a ticket of fifteen dollars, but it's at the Wrightwood six fifty nine until the end of July. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. You always have great art uh, <laughs> tips. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to be here. It's such a beautiful morning. I spent last week in New York, so I'm still trying to get myself acclimated to yeah. slowing down. Yeah, it can be hard. <laughs> I feel like I'll be facing the reverse of that when I come back from the monastery. I'm just like, well, everybody's running around me. <laughs> it feels the opposite. That's right. <laughs> and I have to speed up again. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Good morning, Lauren. How are you today? Good to be I echo what you say also about the right exhibit. I can see it, and it is beautiful. Wonderful. Um, but I think of the Simplicity and that simply who we used to say, and, and, and I think of, I always think of oneness. Mm. But then today, when you said fearless, my thought of that made this mm. phrase it says fearless wow. during all these difficulties and mm. things going on in my life. Yeah. And I thought of fearless and I thought of trust. Mm. And you really said, it. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you so much. That's so cool that you have that phrase. <laughs> yeah, I love those sorts of coincidences. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Dana. How are Thank you today? You um, I also felt like your talk was very relevant to what I've been thinking about lately. And during the meditation before your talk, I was thinking a lot about rituals and the things that remain constant mm -hmm. throughout changes of seasons and life and other things going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing that. Morning, you Good morning. Um, it's a beautiful morning. It's beautiful to be here with everyone. 
You know, it's what she said, you know, it's, it's something that I have to always tell my kids. If kids get overwhelmed with something, yeah. something so minor, so look what you've done. Yeah. You've got all the way over here. This is just another mind, another step that we have to take. Yeah. And that's exactly it. Yeah. You know, it's a different perspective. Yeah. Always. Interesting. All right. Well, thank you, everybody online for coming. It's so nice to see you today. We'll say bye to you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>